no fish nick here it is february 5th and the ice uh it's been pretty warm so i've been taking my boat out lately last week i was on the wisconsin river behind the dubay dam um catching some walleyes got a couple legals and that had a good time uh today i'm actually gonna head for nakusa see if we can find any uh walleyes that way so i figured I'd maybe take a little video whatever so anyway breaking the boat out i'm gonna put away the ice fishing gear probably uh start fishing uh the rivers you know whatever i can find that's open fox river De Pere, um wisconsin river of course so all right let's go give her hell Set the talons. <clears throat> Put in the engine mount. Okay, got my heater, got some minnows, and I'm all set. Okay, here we are, Nakusa. Motor started up good. I got it. Um, I like the new talons. When I launch, I just let it go out and spike it. Let's go down river, see what we can find. I know you go up river, it's pretty shallow right now, so I'm not going to attempt going up to the, the pump house, the paper mill. Okay, just doing a little side imaging here. I got side imaging on top, the regular sonar on the left, and then the mapping going. It's a good all around screen for, uh, for going down here. I haven't been here in years as far as uh, going downstream in a boat. A couple years ago I went upstream to the paper mill and caught some fish with my good buddies Steve and Bob. But uh, today I'm heading down. I might, uh, my buddy Matt might join me tonight. He said he might get here so we might have a visitor later. I might pick up. I was going along side imaging and I found a spot here that had some wood and I backed up and uh, put down the talons because it's only like 10 feet deep so um, put the talons down throw the jig orange jig here and freaking how many 14 and a half inch walleye already first cast that's pretty cool I'm just hooking the minnows kind of weird uh, like that that's how I like to hook them this time of year pretty soon I won't even use any minnows at all I, uh, I like to use I like to use uh, artificials here but with cold temps I did bring minnows but like later tonight I'm gonna start using uh, rapalas and and other kinds of stuff all right getting some small ones and picked up a hitchhiker but uh, we both got a couple Little guys waiting for the big boy. These are just too small. That guy fell for a bleed. Matt's throwing a rapala. And I got a dead stick out with a jig and minnow. Right off bottom. It's only five feet deep. Just keep that right like that. It's working it really slow. Water temp's really cold. Oop. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Sorry. <laughs> Got that on tape, too. Whoopsie. Uh, that was my fault. Okay. Got my dead sticks getting some action. There we go. The dead stick. Little guy. 
feisty. Feisty little guy. Yeah, way too small. The boat's anchored with the talons, so we're not moving. Let's put that right there. And I'm casting a blade bait around. I like these things a lot. Those and hair jigs, plastics, I like it all. Let her hit bottom. I'm using the yellow line so I get see the line real easy with the uh, I think 12 pound test leader on here just hop her along I usually hammer it on the drop and the water is pretty cold so I do go as slow as I can without dragging it on bottom brand new rod just a cast king rod off of Amazon but a nice reel. I like the reel quantum smoke. And the rod is nice too. It's IM7. But not very expensive. But just a medium. Medium on the price. Resolute. Feels good for blade baits. Some ice floating around. Dead stick. Dead sticks get them. Ooh. Probably should have netted that one. That <laughs> probably. <Yeah. laughs> Shit. Just missed the first keeper the other day, probably. It looked, it looked good. Did so they got hammered again? Oh, there we go. Probably gonna net this one. No, no, oh, that's a hoister. Little guy. The minnows doesn't have to be alive. Just need to smell right and look right. Of course, when the camera's off, we had a tangle we were dealing with, and the dead stick nailed a nice, probably 17 inch walleye. On a dead minnow. Okay. Put him on a liar board. Ooh. Yep, my eyeball scale is pretty close. 17 and an eighth. Cool. All right, we picked up another hitchhiker. We got Al back there. So now we got. Uh, Two guys, and uh, I stopped filming for a while. I'll uh, put a 17, another 17 incher in the live well, and then I just got this guy, probably 16. I'll have to measure him up here. But anyway, I'm not going to take any more video. But uh, you can see we're getting them on raplas, blade baits, minnow jigging minnow, so a little of everything. Nice to be out on the river. No more ice fishing. I'm putting my ice fishing gear away. So that's it for tonight. Unless I get a real big one, I'll turn the camera on. Okay. Al's got a pretty good one. Oh, Look nice at that. that one. Nice one. Might be a slot. I'll have to get the. Are you going to hoist them or you want a net? He's going to grab them. Sweet. And the orange. Female. Yeah. female. So we'll let that one go. In a female egg wagon. Yeah. All right. Now let me get the, the measure on the side. There. She's bleeding a little bit. She'll be fine. 
that's <laughs> coming off his hand. They're just short. What do we got? 20. Just over 20. So we have to let her go, if, even if we wanted to keep her. Cool. Good job, Al. Hmm. So, NFN out.